In this video, I'm going to show you how to deposit your native BRC20 tokens into the Alex Lab B20 DEX. All that coming up now. Francis Dune Uncensored. Welcome back to another episode of Francis Dune Uncensored. If you're new to the channel, do make sure that you subscribe, like, and hit the bell notification button if you enjoy value pack content like this. I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to deposit your native BRC20 tokens into the Alex DEX. Um, which is right here. Now, Alex did recently come out with this article that showed us step by step, step one, step two, how you could actually do it. But I find a lot of people aren't really getting it just yet. So look, what you're going to need here is a little bit of a stacks in a stacks supported extension wallet, like a Hyro wallet. You're also going to need a little bit of Bitcoin. And in this example, I'm going to be using the Unisat extension wallet to actually make this happen, guys. Okay, so let's get right to it. So first things first, right? We're trying to deposit our BRC20 tokens into this account right here, okay? As I said, make sure you have a stacks supported wallet, like a higher wallet that has a bit of stacks in it like mine does right here. And I also will be using the Unisat extension wallet for this example. So these are the Shin tokens that I have in this particular wallet that I would like to transfer out over here. So you guys know the first rule of thumb. The first rule of thumb is, well, now, since that we have 20,000 Shin tokens here, I will be sending about 10,000 though. I need to have this transferable. So what I need to do now is make a transfer inscription and send that to the wallet address that has my particular BRC20 tokens that I'm sending. Again, in this instance, it's going to be shint. So let me do that right now. Okay, so we want to come down here. Okay, so we want to transfer. Let's go inscribe transfer. And again, I'm only doing 10,000. One, two, three, not the entire amount. And we just want to look at what the, um you know, the SATS is, about 51 right now. I'm going to put about 80 just to be safe. So let's carry back on over here. Shint, transfer, scribe. Let's go 10, 1, 2, 3, right? Oh, one more zero, so that's 10,000. And I said I'm going to do about, I'll do 85 just to be safe. Don't want to be stuck in no man's land. So that's 10,000, right? Here is the code transfer shint amount 10,000 so what i'm doing right now is pay and inscribe okay that's going to take some bitcoin out of my unisat wallet right and what that's going to do right now is right we need about three confirmations okay guys we do have 10,000 shin tokens available to transfer as you can see right here transferable 10,000 tokens so this now means that how my transfer inscription that we just created has arrived in my wallet However, you guys be very careful because Unisat does require three confirmations in order to transfer. So you could check that out by coming over to their marketplace, my inscriptions. And if this is visible, this means that your third trans um, confirmation has gone through. But if it is faded out, you'll see a one four slash three or two four slash three, which is two confirmations, which, uh, you know, you're going to need three. OK, guys. So just because it says transferable doesn't necessarily mean that it is transferable here, but we're good to go. OK, so what is our next step according to this tutorial? Uh, step two. Submit your transfer inscription ID. Submit the transfer inscription ID you just created together with the token name and amount, okay? So your inscription ID will be exactly what you just saw right here. So let me just go back to list. And this number right here, 8618180 is your inscription ID. We have 10,000 available to transfer, okay? So now what we need to do is, as I said, make sure you have a higher wallet here with some stacks because we're going to have to pay a small transaction fee here. Let's head on over to Alex Lab. Okay. And uh, let us go to this deposit button, guys. All right. Obviously, you need to click the BRC20 beta, deposit, have your higher wallet open, and have that available, uh, that information available too, which is your uh, transfer ID. Okay. So let's accept these terms. We're going to be clicking this first one right here. Peg in BRC20 from BTC chain. Okay. Once you click that, okay, we're on um step two because we've already prepared our transfer inscription ID. Okay, which we now have. So let's go to submit that. And I am putting in the amount of shint is ten thousand, right? And the ID I've already saved that on my notebook, which is right here. Okay, guys. So let's go like that. Now they're taking a hundred shint tokens from me. That's their fee. And we're going to click submit transfer inscription. As you can see right here, 
this is where I, what I was telling you, you're going to need a little bit of stacks. Okay, let's sign that off. Good to go. And I'm going to go with high priority because I don't want to be waiting for too long. This is uh, our transaction. It's on the blockchain. And if we come back over here, what do they say is next? So submit transfer inscription is an on-chain process. You will need to pay stacks. We just did that and gas and wait for stacks chain to confirm. Please avoid submitting new peg in requests with the same inscription ID unless the previous attempt was unsuccessful. So our next step now after that's confirmed is when your request is confirmed, you will be given a BTC chain address uh, for you to transfer the BRC20 native tokens. Okay, guys. So once that's confirmed, as you can see right here, we'll get a native Bitcoin address to send our BRC20 inscriptions that is in my Unisat wallet. Okay, so if I come on over back to here, cancel that out. So, th so this section right here is exactly what we see over here. Token, the amount, the, um, you know, transfer um, ID and the current status. So right here, I don't see anything, no information populating just yet. So just give it some time and I'll be back with the video. Okay, so I do have some data that's reflecting. So let's go on over to the deposit button. Click that. Peg in BRC. I'm looking for that Bitcoin address now to send my native BRC20 tokens. Perfect. So status request received. And now here is the Bitcoin address that I'm going to be sending my BRC20 tokens that are sitting in my Unisat wallet. OK, now when we come on over to here, step three does indeed tell us right here, request status, request received. That's what we see. And we also see a Bitcoin address. So let's go back here. So I'm going to take this address. I'm going to go to my Unisat wallet address because that's where I have my native BRC20 tokens. Let's go right here. I'm going to go to Shint. I'm going to transfer. Okay, so this is the batch right here. I click click that. Let's go to next. 10,000 Shint. Let's put in that address. Yes, ends in CMUG. Ends in CMUG. Okay, it begins with BC. Yep, perfect. Let's go. And what is the mempool at? It's at 38 sats. I'll put in 70 damn sats because i don't want to be stuck in limbo okay so once again confirm that is our address perfect let's shoot that off perfect so payment has been sent ladies and gentlemen all we have to do now is wait for this transaction to go through and once this is uh has hit that account what is our next step our next step now according to this tutorial says once you finish transferring from your wallet alex will automatically check your transfer and send your pegged in a brc20 to your trading account when it confirms within 24 hours so guys right here they say it could take about 24 hours for this last step maybe less right that's probably like the the window they probably exaggerated a bit maybe not i don't know but they say it could take up to 24 hours once that does um you know happen you will be able to have this in your trading account so let's see how long it takes and then we'll take it from there my shin tokens have arrived in my trading account so let's check that out so the first thing you want to do is depending on what brc20 token you're trying to deposit make sure you are in that pairing so this drop down arrow right here is going to you know show you all the different listings and pairings that are available so since we are depositing shint brc we're going to click shint susdt pairing okay and then the moment when you come here now on the right side you're going to see a buy right here and a sell click the sell and then you should see your tokens populate so i have 9900 shin tokens why because they did take 100 shin tokens for their fee okay so it was 10,000, but 100 shint goes to the um exchange for fees okay guys so now from this point onwards this will work exactly like a regular exchange a regular centralized exchange like a Binance that has order books, this is going to work in the same manner. So let's just say that how, you know, you got your shin, shin selling for about five cents, give or take right now, but you just wanted to play some bids. How you're going to do that is make sure you have it on the sell tab and everything should look like pink. Okay, that's when you know you have it on sell. Now from there, make sure you have limit, right? And, and let's just say you want to place an order or a bid at 10 cents. Well, that's very simple. We're just going to come to the limit price. And we're going to go point one zero and the amount that we would like to list. So let's just say we wanted to put whatever, you know, 2000 units of shint, give or take 2058. From there now, it's going to tell us how much in SUSDT that is. We're going to just confirm that everything is what we want. 10 cents. Okay. That's the amount of shint. That's the amount in SUSDT. Let's click that sell button right now. And it's going to interact with our wallet. And we're going to okay that and we should see 
on top here, right there, we have just placed our order. So any arrow, any white arrow pointing to the price, that is your bid. That's how you know it's your bid, okay? So let's just say you want to just sell some shint or sell whatever token you just uh, sent over to this DEX. Well, that's also very easy. So you'll go to market and then you'll just specify right here how much shint you would like to sell at the market price. So let's just say you want to sell 3,000 shint at the current market price. You'll go ahead and then press the sell button and then that will come right here and eat up how much uh, your orders are going to uh, fill. Okay, guys, I hope that makes sense, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly how you will deposit your native BRC20 tokens into Alex Lab Dex, the B20 Dex by Alex Lab. Once again, make sure you have a little bit of stacks for transaction fees. Make sure you have a little bit of Bitcoin for also transaction fees. Make sure you make a transfer inscription that's sent to your wallet address that has your various BRC20 tokens that you like to deposit. Then click the deposit button on Alex uh, Labs Dex, and then from there follow the basic instructions that we went over in this video. And that's exactly how you would deposit to this Dex, which I think is pretty smooth, um, and I think it's needed at the moment right now. And the team over at Alex is doing a great job at that, guys. So, with all that being said, they ain't really much left to say other than, till the next video, you're on your own. Later. Francis Dune, Uncensored.